let's go ahead and start with John Platts. Go ahead, John. Coach, I, I know you're a forward looking guy. Um, what, again, before looking at the tape, will you take from this year and try to muse about and, and, and maybe in your journey forward take uh, as a lesson for, for coaching for co coaching going forward? Yeah, it's a great question. I have probably a variety of things. It's, it's probably not a question I can be overly coherent with because I think there's going to be a lot of reflection back on this year. Uh, I do know for a fact there's going to be some real positive things that I can take away from my performance. And I also know there's some things that I need to do better and things I can grow from as a coach and we can grow from as a program. I do think uh, to try and answer that in 10 seconds right now would be a disservice because there will be a lot of reflection. And uh, thinking back at this year and understanding what it's going to take to move this program uh, forward and take a next major step, uh, I do think we're continuing to take steps as a program in a forward direction. It's just not as fast as I want it to be. I do think there's some exciting times ahead. Um, but we do need to learn from this year and grow from it. We'll move next to Scott Reese. Scott, go ahead. There we go. Hey, Coach. Uh, just we... Scott, you're up. John, one big picture. Um, but just buttoning up the whistle and all that, uh, you guys had to come back from the jump and you smashed and you clawed. You got to one. And then Scott, can you hear us? We'll try one more time and then maybe come back yep. to you. Can you not hear me? No. Go, go ahead. Okay. Coach, can you hear me now? We've, we've lost you. Oh, okay. I'll You're come back. Right okay, Scott, we'll come back to you. Let's, uh, let's go to Jacob Rayburn next in the queue. Hey, Coach, um, we were just talking with Oscar, obviously, and um, you've said a number of times what you think of him as not just a basketball player, but really a, a model of, of what you would want in a student athlete. Um, what can you say right now to, to kind of, you know, sum up his impact on you and on this program? Yeah, it's a great question. It's uh an answer that's hard to put into words. Obviously, um, I think he just got the award for Scholar Athlete of the Year in the Pac-12, uh, which is certainly well-deserved. What he's done in the classroom, what he's done in the Stanford community, uh, what he's meant for this team is, is um, very profound. The way he handles his business, uh, something that I talk to my children about um, so they can learn uh, from what the best does, the way he presents himself to anybody on campus or anybody in the program. Um, I mean, I just, we just passed an official that said it's been an honor to officiate him. And I don't know that officials say that a whole lot when they see a player. So uh, I've used the phrase gold standard, and I do believe he's the gold standard for what any scholar athlete would want to be. And on a personal level, um, he means the world to me. And um, kind of on that list of things of moving forward to, to try to improve, you know, he referenced toward the end of his time talking with us that it was tough at times this season to get everyone kind of swim in the same direction. And you've talked about cohesion in recent weeks as well. Um, what can you kind of share about maybe the frustrations of a coach when, when that's a problem in the final weeks of a season and, and what you can maybe share about that. You know, since I've been at Stanford um, and I, I've obviously known this, you know, for a long time, but I do believe stress um, uh, has to do with everything, academic stress, social stress, academic stress, and all those stresses add up. I do think this is a year where we had challenges and had, had a number of stresses. And I think, um, it was challenging um, for the team in a lot of different ways. Uh, my job is to make sure um, that there's a game plan, uh, that there's a plan in place, and that we execute that plan. Uh, there were a number of, especially in this 
well, actually throughout the entire year, uh, injuries, challenges, um, disruptions to our roster. Uh, I think we're well in the 30s in terms of the original starting five from the season, uh, in terms of games they've missed individually. And with that, every time there's a new input and somebody new into the starting lineup, uh, somebody um, adjusting their roles, every role changes. And it was seemed to be changing really on a daily basis. Before we came here, two days before we came here, I inserted Max into the starting lineup. And five minutes later, he got hurt in practice. And so every day we continued to define roles, redefine roles uh, for individuals. Um, and that's challenging. And obviously, I didn't do a good enough job as a coach defining that properly and getting them to execute that. Uh, and it's hard on the players. It's hard on the players to go from starting to on the bench to need to be a scorer and then trying to become a facilitator. And those roles continue to change and evolve. And while we were trying to make the best plans possible every day for practice and every game, um, the execution of those plans um, didn't always happen. And that falls on my shoulders. Thank you, Coach. We've got time for maybe one or two more. Scott, we're going to go back to, uh, back to you here. Okay, let's try this again. Coach, you got me this time? Okay, great. Um, you obviously had to deal with uh, an absurd level of uh, adversity, and that's been well chronicled. But you also have a lot of really good core young players who are going to be back. Is there a philosophy that, you know, from me, what doesn't kill you? guys had to go through this year will pay dividends down the road in terms of making guys mentally stronger when things aren't so tough in, in some years? Yeah, I missed about two thirds of your question, but I think I think I got enough of it um, and I'll I'll answer the best I can. Um, Adversity is part of life. Adversity is going to be part of every season. Adversity is going to be part of every practice and every game. And the ability to deal with that and handle it and move on is going to be very important. To say that I'm excited about the core of the team coming back uh, would be an understatement, a huge understatement. I think we have character. I think we have talent. I think we have toughness. Um, and I'm really anxious to have an off season with them. I'm excited to have a summer with the freshmen coming in. I'm excited to build this program. I'm hurting right now in a lot of ways, and it's been a hard year. But I can say emphatically that we're going to get this done here. And it's going to take a lot of, uh, a lot of energy and a lot of planning and a lot of work. But I say that uh, because I do believe in what we're doing as a program. I believe we're growing in as a program. Uh, and I have a great, great deal of confidence uh, in our in our group as they return and and that includes the freshmen coming in so um, while i may not you know ooze excitement right this second i can promise you um, that i am excited about the future of the program we're going to finish off uh, this session with peter gofin go ahead peter yep hey coach so Teams definitely had a, a challenging end of these past couple seasons, and, and it's felt like things have trailed off a little bit. Kind of two pieces here. One, how do you finish stronger and be ready for sort of a postseason level going forward? And hopefully returning to Maples next year and presumably bringing back some fans and sort of strumming up that support again in the community. What are you most looking forward to for the season ahead? Chance to get with our players. Um, this summer, uh, not having our guys here um, proved really challenging. And there were so many programs around the country that did have access to them. And that's just kind of the, the, the hand we were dealt. Uh, and then in the fall, when the guys came back, um, not being able to be in a gym and the challenges there uh, were real. And I think we weren't able to lay the foundation for this team that I wanted to lay. Uh, and having said that, we, we, I think, really forged ahead when we were able to get in a gym and practice. Uh, having said that, I'm looking forward to the summer. I'm looking forward to getting the guys uh, in a gym. I'm looking forward to working. 
and I'm looking forward to growing the program. Um, I have confidence in the guys that are going to be in the program. I have confidence uh, in myself. Uh, but the bottom line is it's going to take work, and it's going to take a lot of work, and I'm willing and they're willing to do it, and I can say that um, wholeheartedly.